Hello guys, today we will talk about gangrene. It is a very interesting and very um, hard disease uh, what we can treat. And today we will talk about some types of gangrene and about specific types and about um, surgery treatment. Uh, okay, gangrene. Uh, what is a gangrene? Uh, it is a process uh, when our cells uh, will die, and we need to understand that it's happened. Because we have um, ischemia, for example, when we talk about appendix, yeah, and if we have problem with artery appendicularis, for example, thrombosis of artery appendicularis, we always will have a gangrene of appendix. This is example, and it happens because we haven't got a normal circulation of blood in the organ. The same happened in our arms, legs and in others. Uh, interesting facts that uh, why we see black color. Uh, it's happened because In zone where we have a gangrene, are many hemoglobins, uh, and they are um, firm. Come from hemoglobins, and uh, he will transform it to the. Uh, silicium uh, sulfatis ferrum sulfates and uh, ferrum sulfates color is black causes of gangrene are in the picture you can understand why we have this problem Circulatory disorders. Mm, sometimes we have impaired blood flow in the vessels, and uh, this is the most common cause of gangrene. <coughs> most often, these affects the legs. Fingers, feet, usually the blood flow disorders develops slowly, so dry gangrene occurs. What uh, circulatory disorders can lead to the um, gangrene? It is atherosclerosis. Um, thrombosis of vessel, thromboembolism, it's when thromb clot uh, will go from the place where it is and uh, blocked a uh, more less vessel. Of course, it can happen if patients have obliterating endotertries, improperly applied plaster clast, and if uh, he have longer time of tourniquet, 
and uh, if we have problem with prolonged squared squeezing um, infection uh, infections can grant develops during injuries ideal conditions are when the wound channel has a small opening and a large length for example gunshot and step wounds in patients with diabetes mellitus and vascular pathologies gangrene can develop even due to a small wound burns and frostbite Effects that can lead to the development of gangrene, it is a temperature up to plus 60 and or temperature less than uh, minus 15 um, for a sufficiently long time frostbite. Electric shock resembles a burn as a result of the passage of electricity, the tissue head up, they literally burn. Chemical burns with acids lead to dry gangrene as a result of the action of acids, proteins, cardinal and become insoluble in water. Uh, the next uh, is a chemical burns with alkalis. Uh, lead to the appearance of gangrene resembling wet as under influence of acids the tissues soften a large amount of fluid accumulates in the in them factors that lead to gangrene its destruction of tissues and circulatory disorders as a result of the direct action of high and low temperatures sits alkalis electric current the development of information it is necessary so that the destroyed tissues can dissolve but the inflammatory process can be so strong that it itself uh, has a damaging effects attachment of the infection when the tissues are destroyed and the body's defense are weakened, the infection develops much more easily. And the mechanical injuries, uh, development of gangrene can lead to severe destruction of tissues. With crushing during strong prolonged compression. In this case, the vessels are squeezed and blood flow is disrupted. Usually with extensive tissue, destruction and infectious process is attached. Classification of gangrene is dry and wet gangrene. What is a dry gangrene? Uh, most often dry gangrene develops as a result of a gradual increase in circulatory disorders over a long time, affected as a rule the feet of the feet. The body's defense have time to work. The affected area is clearly delined from healthy tissues. It becomes black or dark brown, as if shrinks, decreases in volume. Dry gangrene is not life treating. The affected tissues particularly does not disintegrate, it simply loses root and dries up, uh, like mummifies. So, toxic substances are formed slowly and in small quantities. The body has time to inactivate them. The focus of tissues crosses is clearly delineated. 
Wet gangrene uh, usually develops quickly and almost always the result of infection. Cadaverous decomposition begins. The affected area swells, increases in size, the skin becomes a bluish, dark purple color. There is an intense uh, disintegration of the tissue. The body's defenses go do not have time to distinguish the area of necrosis from healthy tissue. Toxic substance formed as a result of cell breakdown enter the bloodstream. In large quantities are not activated poison the body and disrupt the work of organs. The patient's condition worsens. Gangrene is the internal organs like lungs or intestines occurs in a wet type. Symptoms of gangrene and the first gangrene we will talk about dry gangrene. Um, dry gangrene is not as severe as wet gangrene. There is no treat to the patient's life. At first, there is severe pain in the affected limb. It becomes pale and then takes on a marble bluish hue. Then, the affected part of the limb decreases in size, becomes black or dark brown in color. The pain goes away and all sensitivity disappears in the necrosis zone. There is a clear boundary between the necrosis site and healthy tissues. New sections are not involved. The patient's condition is normal. As in the case of dry gangrene in the blood, partitioning does not arrive toxins. Eventually, the affected part of the limb dries up and is mummified. Occasionally, it can detect itself. This outcome is equated with self-healing. Wet gangrene symptoms. At first, there is severe pain in the affected limb. It becomes pale and then takes on a marble bluish hue. Then the skin becomes bluish, dark blue, black with a green tint. Dark red spots appear, the affected limb swells. Increases in size, filled with blood, appear on the skin. There is no clear boundary between healthy and affected tissue. Gradually, the necrosis zone spreads as the infection affects all new tissue. Fabrics that have a dirty grey color are exposed. There is an unpleasant putrid smell. It is caused by the formation of tissue breakdown products and the vital activity of bacteria. The general condition of the patient is disturbed. The body temperature rises. There is a headache, weakness, increased fatigue, chills. Sorry. Uh, pallor and dry skin. The pus become weak and frequent. In the patient is not provided with timely help. Then the necrosis spreads to neighboring areas, captures the entire limb. The patient's conditions become very serious. Death occurs as a result of poison of poisoning of the body with toxic products. And uh, we will talk about symptom of certain or specific types of gangrene. Let's get started. Gas gangrene uh, uh, is caused by anaerobic bacteria that is those that can only exist in oxygen-free conditions. The spores are found in the soil. The main pathogen is a microorganism called Clostridium perfringens. If the wound is deep and narrow enough,
uh, then for favorable conditions are created at its bottom. Oxygen does not penetrate here and clostridial can freely multiply. After 6 hours, after receiving the wound, the patient's condition worsens. There is weakness, fewer the pulse becomes weak and frequent, there is swelling in the area of the wound, its edges look lifeless. Uh, if the muscles are visible in the wound, then they have such an appearance as if boiled. The affected limb becomes edematous, acquires a grey bluish color and blisters with blood appear on it. If you press on the skin in the area of the wound, you can feel a specific crunch as a result of the presence of gas bubbles in the tissue, and gas will start to be released from the wound and an unpleasant, sweet, powdery smell comes from the wound. The patient's condition quickly deteriorates. If help is not provided in time, then death will occur due to poisoning of the body with clostridium toxins and decaying tissues. Furnia gangrenes. Uh, another, uh, um, another call of this disease is lightning fast scrotal gangrene. Uh, is a rare but dangerous form of the disease. It develops as a result of infection during trauma to the scrotum or genital, genital area. Symptoms may be absent for two to seven days after the injury. Then there is a constant severe pain in the genital area. You may notice puffiness. There is swelling and redness on the skin and the pain increase. The affected area of the skin in the genital area becomes dark. Gangrene develops. Dark gangrene develops. <sighs> Puss begins to stand out with lightning fast scrotal gangrene. About a third of patients die, and if the testicle is affected, more than half of the patients die. Gangrene of the lungs. In the case of lung gangrene, an area of necrosis appears in the lung tissue, which does not have clear boundaries and gradually spreads to healthy tissue. Uh, possible causes of lung gangrenes, infections that can enter the lungs in different ways. For example, vomit, stomach, vomiting uh, uh, in stomach contents and the respiratory tract uh, with pneumonia and other diseases of the respiratory system with penetrating wounds of the chest, uh, drift from other foci of inflammation with the flow of blood and lymph. Pulmonary embolism is a condition in which a detect fragment of a blood clot enters the bloodstream, uh, reaches the vessels of the lungs and clogs one of them. Part of the lung tissue causes to receive the necessary amount of blood and dies, and infection joins in. Gangrene of lungs uh, symptoms. Uh, patient have uh, temperature increase up to thirty nine forty, uh, fewer uh, headache, uh, can't sleep, um, in insomnia and poor appetite, uh, loss of the weight, uh, pain in uh, the damage. Uh, part of uh, breath, 
uh, it uh, increase uh, when patient have a deep um, excursion of uh, chest after few days uh, patients have cough uh, they have uh, many uh, one second many sputum many sputum and uh, that's all of course they have problem with uh, gamodynamic and of course they will have problem with um, the diuresis the next one gangrene of intestine gangrene uh, of the intestine the main causes of intestinal gangrene bacterial infections violation of blood flow in the vessels that feed the intestine for example, with atherosclerosis, pinched hernia during the pigeon, the vessel are squeezed and the blood flow is disrupted. Inflammatory process, for example, ganglionous form of acute appendicitis. Uh -huh. uh, symptoms uh, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, admixture of blood in the faces, constipation, bloating, the increase in body temperature. A violation of the general state of health, weakness, lethargy, pallor. A patient with gangrene of the intestine should be treated immediately, otherwise, such as serious complication as peritonitis. Uh, and a few words about diagnostic. We always need to do general blood tests because after it. Uh, we can uh, look have we leukocytes yes uh, blood cells white blood cells or oh, no uh, then we can do a biochemical analysis of blood to uh, see a problem with all organism we have uh, do analysis uh, on sterility of blood we can do a bacteriological examination of the contents and discharge from the wound. Of course, we can do radiography with patients with intestinal, uh, with uh, lungs, um, gangrene. And of course, we can see uh, this picture, what you see uh, when we um, talk about uh, gaze gangrene. There you see a bubble of the um, oxygen in the muscle. Of course, we need to do a CT, ultrasound, bronchoscopy, and a searching of sputum. What about treatment? Treatment are conservative and operational, and always we need to do operation, uh, but uh, they are we have other types of operations and first of all when we talk about conservative we can uh, give to patient uh, antibiotics and anticoagulants according to the indications surgical interventions are performed on the vessels blood cold removal removal of atherosclerotic plaque super imposing a new message between the vessels shunt Replacement of the effect area of the vessel with a graft or synthetic prosthesis. If irreversible changes have already occurred in the tissue, amputation is indicated. And in next uh, picture you see uh, adapts of amputation. Thank you for your attention. That's all. And now you have uh, some uh, another problem. Go to Teams and you will see this problem. Thank you very much.